Hello everybody, I'm Jack. And this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're all doing well out there. This I, I've gotten off to a busy start and I'm just kind of staying, staying busy this week. I'm working on a couple of new projects with somebody else out there, doing a little bit of collaborating, having them help me with some stuff. And uh, yeah, just uh, shaking up the energy a little bit, doing a few new things and um, just enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day, man. We got another perfect day today. Well, actually, I shouldn't say another one. It was gray and rainy yesterday, but woke up to a fantastic day today. A little bit cooler, blue skies. All the flowers are blooming in this area, so life is good. Um, today, I'm going to talk about how I'm a lazy raw vegan, and it works for me, and it's what I share. Uh, guys, I do videos every day, so if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd go down and hit that red subscribe button now. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. I was answering some comments over on Instagram yesterday when I got the idea for this one. And I'm like, I probably, I think doing a brand, you know, doing a YouTube channel, I'm probably frustrating here as I am frustrating over on Instagram because... Most of the ant the questions I get, I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Haven't really thought about it all that much. And that's just kind of how I've been doing this thing for close to seven years now is uh, largely not overthinking it, um, not making, you know, not being too scripted. I don't like my life scripted and I really don't like this channel to be scripted. Um, so like I say, this kind of fits into my lifestyle. Plus it's kind of an explanation of how I do my channel, how I do my social media. And it is what it is. Some people don't like it. I have, I've, I've got some people that follow me, but they don't really like my style and they'll criticize it. But hey, dude, there's somebody out there for everybody. I just think there's enough uh, stuff out there that's all the same. I just like what I do to kind of be organic just to happen as it happens. Um, I don't really watch any of this stuff anymore unless I'm looking for a recipe or unless I'm looking for some sort of specific information or unless I just really want to know what one person says about some subject in particular. So when people are asking me all the time, hey, did you see this? Hey, do you watch so-and-so? I'm To be honest, I'm like, no, because I haven't really watched um, plant-based raw food type videos and ugh well over a year, probably going on two years now. But every once in a while, like I say, just so I kind of can speak intelligently, know what's going on out there, I'll just kind of cruise around and take a little sampling of things. And once again, this isn't throwing any shade. Somebody will be mad thinking I'm throwing shade. It's just like it is what it is. I'm not interested in scripted stuff. I'm not interested in stuff that seems like you know, you're really trying too hard because there's a lot of scripted stuff. I watch TV. I'm not one of those evolved people that doesn't watch TV. I got TV. I got Netflix. I got, you know, entertainment stuff on YouTube. I don't really find the food stuff entertaining. So um, unless I'm going for a specific reason, like I say, a recipe or to learn something specifically, I got better things to do with my time than sitting around watching, you know, a bunch of food videos that are kind of scripted anyway from the kitchen that's just a little too clean and a little too nice uh, from people that are claiming to be minimalist all the time because you got to kind of keep all, you got to juggle and keep all those balls going. Well, I've got the gorgeous kitchen with all the toys and this, that, and the other, but I got to be a minimalist. So, <laughs> sorry, just me being snarky a little bit, but, uh, no, I mean, seriously, though, it's worked for me, and I just knew from the very beginning, and I think watching videos, even in the beginning, even in the very beginning, I kind of saw things out there. I saw how other people were doing this lifestyle, and I saw how people were making such a, and even back then when I didn't know anything, and I still don't know a lot, I would be like, Does it, is it really this complicated? We do, I mean, we're eating food. Yes, I was making a change from standard American diet, eating a certain way for years and years and years to this. But even then, I had this grasp of knowledge going like, is it really this complicated? I mean, do we really have to know every single answer to do this lifestyle? Um, I didn't worry very much when I was eating the standard American diet. I didn't sit around all day going, hmm, okay, let's see. What did, did I wonder if I got enough of this today. Um, did I, oh, I better check. And probably half the time, the processed sugar and the sodium that was in the food you were eating on that was hard. But you, no, you didn't sit around and go overthink it like that. So I, even, even though it was a totally different way of uh, eating, granted, than what I was used to, 
I just kind of was like, okay, it's eating fruits and vegetables. Even back then, I was saying the same thing I'm now. It's like eating fruits and vegetables. This is not rocket science. You know, yes, there's things to figure out. There are things um, that you got to figure out, like uh, eating enough food. That's one of the biggest things right there is just learning to train your mind, train your body, uh, you know, to kind of go against what we've been told our whole lives and eat enough food because now the, f the food we ate before was a lot more calorically dense than what we're eating now. Um, but yeah, so I've just kind of kept it easy the whole time. I'm not, I like recipes. I find a recipe I like and I make it from time to time. I come up with a recipe or two on my own from time to time. Usually I've derived them from, or at least they're about three degrees of separation from somebody else's recipe. But mostly I've just been eating, eating fruit, eating fruit, eating vegetables, eating fruit, eating vegetables. And it's done, listen, I feel phenomenal. I'm sure I miss something. I'm sure I don't do this lifestyle perfect. And am I, you know, I'm never, but then again, have you ever in my videos seen me hold myself up to this higher standard and say, this is the way you do it? In fact, I always tell you, double check me, double check me, triple check me, get a second opinion, try it out for yourself. What I'm doing may not work for you. Um, you know, I tend, I, I tend to kind of believe that there's not as much of a variety in our experiences, you know, like the per people that think everybody's an exception, but we are all different. We are all different. So what works for me may not work for you. You might have some, you may have come to this lifestyle with some sort of condition. Maybe you have to be a little bit stricter on your, on the way you eat. Um, most of the questions I get here and on Instagram, I feel, I kind of have that same feeling I used to have back in school when I wasn't prepared. I'm like, shit, I don't know the answer to this. I start looking around, where can I find the answer? Probably if we all sat down and took a test on raw veganism, chances are that most of you people out there would probably score higher than me because like I say, I've never wanted to get too far into my head on this thing. I want it, you know, it's, it's food, it's food. I know I'm repeating myself over and over, but it's food. Um, now, yes, take some of what I'm saying with a grain of salt because if you've watched my videos, you know I do pay attention and I try to fill in some of the gaps and when I feel like I'm being too much of a kid by eating too much nice cream and just, yeah, watermelon juice and this and that, I kind of pull the reins back in and I start, okay, now I need to eat more salads. I need to get more variety. So in my convoluted process of doing things, I do get a lot more variety throughout the year than what it looks like. It doesn't look like I get a lot of variety because it's kind of a psychological thing. I just post out like for a safer season. One, like for instance, once um, once spring, once we get into late spring, summer, you'll be seeing something almost every single day. If you were to follow me on Instagram, watermelon juice, mango, watermelon juice, mango, green smoothie. Every day was almost the same progression. So. It, even though it's just that will be just for a few months and then there will be another progression it I think it just kind of gets into people's head like damn he's just very repetitive he eats the same stuff over and over and over but if you were to put the whole year if you were to look at the year as a whole and all those different you know okay I've eaten like this for three months I eat like this for three or four months I eat this fruit and stuff heavy for three or four months you'll see there's a little bit more balance in there than um than it looks like on the surface. I can always get more greens. As I was sitting around this morning, I was thinking about it just, you know, like, um, and it is what it is. I can't think about, oh, the past or being back in Costa Rica, but I do think about that, um, you know, like just the access to all those good greens. That's probably my one weakness, my big Achilles heel right now is that I would like to be taking in a lot more greens than I'm doing. But, you know, like I say, I do the best I can. Some days, and another play, another way that the laziness plays into it well for me is a lot of the time, now sometimes I'll cook some food or I'll do whatever, but most of the time, whereas uh, it seems to be the opposite. When other people are lazy, they tend to eat bad things. They make bad choices. When I'm lazy, I tend to just eat even more simple. Like if I'm like, for instance, all winter, you know, when I was kind of having this issue and I was, felt a little stiffer than I do now, I wouldn't want to really do all that much. So I would just default. I would just like make nice cream at night. But I mean, I'm basically mono mealing. So, you know, my laziness led to me eating a mono meal. So, you know, it is what it is. It's not going, it's, it's a good thing.
it's a good thing. But in the end, I don't think I, I'm, I'm sure I miss things. I'm sure I'm not doing this thing completely right. I just always kind of try to go back and look at it like this, that I'm doing so much better than I was doing seven years ago. And I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I have no, absolutely no doubt that I'm doing just way, way, way better. Like if, if I'm up here right now, if I'd have never come to this lifestyle, I'd probably be down here. I'd be down here. I'd probably be sitting in a bar half drunk right now. So, you know, I'm just going to kind of keep doing my thing the way that I do it, you know. And, hey, it's all good. Some people need a little bit more detail. We all find, we all relate to who we relate to, and we all resonate with uh, different things. So, anyhow, just kind of like a little explanation of my channel, the way I eat, and everything about what this crazy old dude does. Hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.